Hey everyone, it's Jet back here with a profession video. This is dealing with engineering. And if you're an engineer and you spec into mechanical mind, the specialization mechanical mind, um, you unlock a wormhole generator. Now this wormhole generator is good if you're an engineer, you know how useful a wormhole generator can be. Especially in the Shadowlands, it was, it was unbelievable how great it was. Now, the problem with the wormhole generator is it teleports you right here to a random location. So we'll do that right now. I'll show you what, what we're doing right here. So if you use the wormhole generator and you click it, you don't have options of exactly specifically where you want to go compared to like say if you take the shadowlands wormhole here um you can click it and you can go to where where you want to go now with this new wormhole generator in dragon uh, dragon flight it, it just teleports you into a random place, right? So you click this, and you, and you don't know where you're going to go. So you can go to all four zones. You can go to the Waking Shores or Azor Span, Daraldrasis, Anara, Anaran Plains. So right here, it took us to the, the Azor Span, right? It's like, that's, that's not real good because you really want to use it to go somewhere that you really want to get to pretty quick, right? Well... This expansion, Blizzard, actually, you can do that. And you can do that is if you unlock novelties here and, and you put in 30 points into, into novelties. All right? Now, the good thing about this is if, when you first get the wormhole generators, if you're not specced into novelties, right? Like you go mechanical mine, then you say you take inventions. Uh, your wormhole generator is going to have a four-hour cooldown. Four hours! Think about that. Like, Shadowlands was 15 minutes. So it's four hours. But if you spec into Mechanical Mind, you put 15 points in, or... Hold on. Yeah, right here. Okay, so, like... Um, okay, Mechanical Mind. I take that back. I'm sorry. Mechanical mind, if you put in um, so much points, 20 points, you're going to get your wormhole reduced by 50%. So it goes down to two hours. So your wormhole is still on a two-hour cooldown. Now, but if you spec in the novelties, okay, you still got the two-hour cooldown, but you can speculate where you want to go, right? But you got to put 30 points max into novelties. And that will let you learn and tap into signal transmitters scattered across the Dragon Isles to triangulate your wormhole generator to a specific location. Now, with my rant going on about how bad engineering has been this expansion, I'm talking not just on things you can probably sell. I mean, there are some things that you can sell that you can make some gold on. I'm, I'm not saying that. And I'll do a probably a video later to show you things you can craft in certain professions to to um, to make gold but getting this the skill points you need compared to other ones and just leveling it up has been has been a challenge in itself so that that's that's my rant but with all that said, this video here is I'm going to show you how to locate every dragon uh, signal transmitter across the Dragon Isles so you can, if you are one of the foolish ones, to, to have uh, pick novelties and got your wormhole generator unlocked. At least now we can um, specifically pick where we want to go. So I'll put all the waypoints for that in the description below. And let's go get some transmitters. All right. The first signal transmitters that we're going to focus on are in the Waking Shore. I'm going to go to the Waking Shore, then Anaran Plains, Azor Span, Thaldrasis, 
And the first one, uh, there's three in each zone. So I'll put everything in the description below. The first one that we're heading to, and this is the most efficient route that I found uh, that I'm taking here. So in the video, and I'll put that in the description below also. Uh, the first signal transmitter is located right here in between Scale Cr Cracker Keep and Windrest Embassy. Uh, these transmitters look like this. They're deactivated, and all you got to do is just click them there, and now it's uh, good to go. So, on to the next two. All right, this next sig signal transmitter is located right behind the Obsidian Citadel in the boondocks. It's um, over the mountain ridge there. So we'll activate this. We'll head to the next one. This next locator is in the Waking Shores. Located down here, right on the edge. It, it, it's on a cliff overlooking the uh, river here. And you'll see a path coming down. This one's kind of tricky to find if, if you're looking for it. So the locations I'll definitely put in the description below. It's right here, but it's up on a cliff. So now we'll head over to Anaran Plains. All right, this transmitter is located in the Anaran Plains right uh, behind Marika here on the mountain edge overlooking this area right here. So we'll activate it. Head to the next. This low transmitter is located just west of Nakunda Hold uh, on the ridge line of this mountain here. So we'll activate that and head on to the last one in Anaran Plains. This last transmitter in Anaran Plains is located right on the border of the Azor Span here. Just um, in between uh, the crossings here and the springs. And it's on a mountain overlooking everything. So we'll activate it. Then we'll head to the Azor Span. This next transmitter is located in the Azor Span, uh, just south of the Anaran Plains, uh, Anari, Anari Springs uh, flight path, just due south of it. And you guessed it, it's on a mountain. So we'll activate this, head on to the next. This next transmitter is located just east of the Azor Archives on a mountaintop here. So we'll go on to the next. All right, the last transmitter in the Azor Span that we went to is located just north, northeast of Camp Nowhere in the Lost Ruins. It's overlooking this area right here. So we'll activate this and then head on to Thaldrasis for our last three. All right, this next transmitter is located in Thaldrasis here. Um, just northeast of the temporal co conflux uh, flight path here right on the edge of this hourglass now you know you can click the hourglass and there's sometimes quest it like this week there's a world boss quest in there but sometimes there's other quests not sure if you knew that or not but um and it's buried behind a tree so if you're having a hard time finding it just that's where it is so we'll locate that and head to the next one all right this next transmitter is located uh, right to the west of the vault of in the incarnate, uh, out in the it, it's out it's out in the sticks. <laughs> There's nothing out here. So it's, it's up in these mountains. So we'll activate this and then get our last transmitter here. All right, the last transmitter is located in Valdraken, in between Tire tri Tirehold and Valdraken on the bridge here. So we'll activate that and that's where the last one is and. Now we can ride in style. So we'll test it out here. And see, it's like, oh, carelessly jump. We can still do that. We can go to Thaldrasis, Azur Span. So the Waking Shores. Um, so basically, it'll give us one of those three spots. So if, say if we go to the Waking Shores here, it'll give us one of the first three, three transmitters out in the boonies because all these are on the boonies 
that that's where it's going to transport us to. So we'll see exactly which one it takes us to. And then I say probably the embassy, huh? Nope. Took us to the overflowing rapids. I don't remember a transmitter there. I don't remember that. So I guess it just try. It, it really they're all in a triangle basically. So it just basically puts you in the middle. Maybe I don't know. But that's where all the transmitters are located. So good luck wormholing every every two hours. Hope this video helped.